what's up guys welcome back to another episode of everyday adventure socal this is gonna be a really short one we are here just to check out the new toontown and when i say new toontown it's the old toontown that they kind of revamped we haven't been in we do have a reservations for the mickey's runaway railroad to so tag along let's check it out We got this new little fountain out in the middle. It's pretty cool. I don't remember if it was here. This is actually here or not. I don't think so. Nice little place for the kids to get wet. And uh, it's kind of cool down. Right here, we got the new Centennial Park for the little guys to come play on some, uh, looks like tree roots. And then going that way, I'm not really sure what that is. Kind of looks like a big play area again. Oh yeah, with like slides and stuff. Have to walk. So over at the Cafe Daisy, some of the stuff's the same. Still got the Daisy dressed up dog. I think a cheesy pizza flip over. And this uh, spring garden wrap, those are new. And the donuts is new. Specialty beverages. That's what Delane wants. She wants the coffee. Cause she fell in love with, what's the coffee that you like called? Joffrey. Joffrey's coffee in Disney World. So that's what we're hunting down right now. We're hunting down a Joffrey's coffee. Hello. Just the regular. Oh, what's the difference? Okay. Cool. They redone it. Or kind of fancied it up back here. Got some cool places that sit. Got the Toontown City Hall. As you can tell, they've taken a lot of stuff out. Like the tree house is gone. Um, they used to have the little trolley that went down through like the center. That's where the fountain is now. That is all gone. Uh, completely different. It is pretty crowded back here though. You can tell it is a new land at Disneyland. And everyone is here to see it. Right, this is what Delane got. What is this again? The cold brew caramel coffee. So we're actually... We haven't seen everything yet, but we are going back to the Mickey's Runaway Railroad. Scratch that, the ride is down. They're not going on anything. <laughs> my sister actually bought, my sister bought the Lightning Lane Pass just so we could hop on it because the standby lane was really long. It's 20 bucks a person, so 60 bucks for the three of us just to try it out. And uh, we walked up and it's down right now. They don't know when it's going to come back up. Um, so we'll walk to the rest of the land, check it out, see what there is to see. Hopefully when we come back, uh, Runaway Railway will be open again. We shall see. It's Disneyland, so anything can happen. Anything can happen. Alright, so this part still feels pretty familiar with uh, the ship and the little gadget coaster. We go back over here to meet Minnie. Uh, we come over here to meet Mickey. That's all still the same. So this all feels just like the original. This area is pretty cool. Back here in the back, they kind of have like a, a little chill spot where you can go back in the little cave and uh, Find get some shade, sit on these little ledges, hang out in the grass, let the kids run around, let the parents get off their feet, just kind of relax, have a little quiet time. So that's kind of nice. Oh well, guys, fortunately, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to ride the ride tonight. It uh, broke down right as we were gonna get on. We hung out for Oh, 45 minutes to see if it would reopen. Fortunately, one of the cast members said it was probably going to be a while. And since it was kind of the last ride of the day for us anyways, we decided, oh well, we're going to hit the Disneyland um, customer relations. Got to get our money back, unfortunately, because that is a paid for ride to get on on top of the regular lightning lane. Um, I was wrong, though. I thought it was 20 bucks. It's only 15. But, oh well. We're going to go in the city hall, talk to guest relations. Just get a refund on it and we'll hit it another day. But that's going to be it for today's everyday adventure. Thanks for following along. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.